Space, The Final Frontier. These are the voyages of the Church Evangel Ministries and its 15-year mission to seek out new life, new civilizations, to boldly go where no church has gone before, 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 before. Wait a minute. Hold up. Our church is not a starship. And we are certainly not seeking out new civilizations and alien species. We are, in fact, a ministry that has a 15-year plan to reach our city, our nation, and the world for Jesus Christ. As you can plainly see, I am not Captain Kirk, and there is certainly no Mr. Spock. However, I do have the honor and the privilege of being the senior pastor of this amazing church called Evangel Ministries. And as the senior pastor of this great ministry, I also have the distinct honor of helping to lead our wonderful team of leaders who effectively minister and shepherd our church. I praise God for them. God wants his people to grow in grace and in the knowledge of him. You see, God loves his people so much that he sent his son, Jesus Christ, to redeem all of us and to bring us into a family relationship with him that will last forever. Our leadership team has such a passionate, sincere desire and love for families that we want them to know the Lord deeply and to grow through discipleship relationships. The families of Evangel and the families of our neighborhood are the key to revitalizing our city and turning it into a sanctuary and a shining beacon of hope. Evangel Ministries' mission is to have a dynamic impact, first in our homes and then the world, by equipping Christians, enriching families, and empowering communities. Our scripture theme is found in Philippians 3, 12 through 14, with the key verse, forgetting what lies behind and straining forward to what lies ahead. I press toward the goal for the prize of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus. In January 2015, Evangel Ministries launched the third phase of its 15-year plan that was initiated by the church in 2004. This five-year phase was introduced to the church with the theme, Dream, Launch, and Flourish. It focuses on multiplication and mentorship, looking toward 2020 and ask the question, what would God have the church to be as it looks forward? For decades, we have been ministering through God's grace. And now that he has promoted us to an ever increasing level of exposure, as well as community and worldwide impact, of which we know that this can only be done most effectively if we are strong in our faith and faithfulness and be diligent in the care of our first ministry, families. To this end, we are excited about what God has done in 2016 and will do through 2020 as we focus on the vision of Family Forward. In Genesis chapter 12, verse 3, God tells Abraham, In thee shall all families of the earth be blessed. God loves family because God created family. Being a family means you're part of something very wonderful. It means you will love and be loved for the rest of your life. Family is at the center of our ministry, and Evangel has some amazing families. In 2016, our family vision was to be more intentional with worshiping together. Yes, as well as grow in our communication with one another. Mm -hmm. Evangel Ministries has really helped my family move forward. Uh, I would say, number one, with uh, Covenant Couples on Thursday nights, uh, really helps us to focus in on our marriage. Yes, and I also participated in the connection groups, and um, I was a part of one of the women's small groups. We felt a strong prompting from the Lord to move our family. It was a bit uneasy, seeing as how my wife, uh, she grew up in that church all of her life. Yes, it was a very hard move. It was my parents' church, but thank God it was the move that we needed to make for our family. As a minister working with youth, one of my primary focuses was to let the youth know at Chosen that though they have family challenges, we as a family at Evangel would support them all the way through. As a leader of the dance ministry, 
I have been extremely privileged that so many families have joined the dance ministry. And I've found that many of them are learning how to worship God through dance. We're, we're not, not family, family perfect, perfect, but we're, we're a family, family moving forward. forward. My name is Keith, and it's my wife, Lakeisha, and we are a blended family. We have two children together, Seth and Genesis, and I have a daughter, Kennedy. And I have two additional sons, Robert and Jordan. And we are the Joneses. I embraced the 2016 vision of Family Forward by becoming more intentional about making my blended family work. Evangel Ministry has helped me by putting me into connection groups with many powerful sisters who has walked with me and carried me when times were tough and I was not willing to do so for myself. As my wife said, being a blended family and living up under one roof is tough. My focus was to make sure everyone was loved. Some of the blended family challenges that we've uh, seen since we've been married is communication. We've realized that for 2016, if we wanted to grow, communication was essential. Not a family perfect, but a family moving forward. <laughs> I embrace the 2016 vision of Family Forward because I need my family to be strong, and we need strong families. Evangel has helped me tremendously this year. I, I lost my son this year, and my Evangel family came out and supported me wholeheartedly. They were my family. They um, helped me through very um, trying times, there for me, sitting with me, um, crying with me, praying with me. And uh, without them, it would have been very difficult for me to make it through that time. We're not a perfect family. But we are family moving forward. I love you. We realized that connecting families is a challenge, so we made a major push this year and made it intentional. Connection Groups has played a major part in bringing people together and was very instrumental in our earlier Grow Ministries for several years. For 2016, Thursday nights were designated and dedicated to be a meeting place where the entire family could get connected. The use of small groups became that place where our families connected. Small groups provide a more intimate time of sharing and fellowship with one another. Our families had some wonderful and difficult choices as to where they wanted to participate, like Bible class, women's ministry, men's ministry, marriage ministry, children and nursery ministry, chosen our team ministry. Being a part of the Thursday Night Connection Groups has really been beneficial. It has strengthened my relationship with the women of the church. And most of all, I even have gained a deeper understanding of the armor of God and how vital it is in our spiritual warfare. We've had the privilege of serving in Covenant Couple Connection Group on Thursday evening. And we've had the privilege of leading a connection group a couple that prays together stays, stays together. together. Hello, Evangel. I've had the privilege of working with your children here on Thursday night with the Connection Group, having a wonderful time. These are some awesome, awesome, awesome children. They're learning the fruit of the Spirit, and one of the fruits of the Spirit they learned was love. And the love, because love, after all, conquers all. And the thing about it with love, they learn how to interact with each other and know love is the most powerful of the fruit of the Spirit. This is what happened to me when I got connected. My sisters in Christ really helped me to draw closer to God. I read my Bible more, I pray more, I wake up with songs in my heart, and I'm really thankful for that experience. It's something I truly prayed for um, at the beginning of this year when I did my vision board. And so I'm truly thankful that God has answered my prayers. As a teen, I encourage you all you teens to come out on Thursday nights and it'll be fun, it'll be great, and possibly even food. So what would you say to a person that's not yet connected? Come on out and get connected. Here at Evangel, worship and prayer is key to us honoring the Lord. 
we set aside intentional, true, intimate times where we join in the fellowship of the Spirit, touching heaven with our praise and petitioning heaven to touch our world. Evangel is about doing. We love to minister and do good works. We've accomplished much in 2016 through ministry, community empowerment, Church multiplication and mentorship. Media and outreach. And a campus decision. Well, today I am proud and excited to announce that after a year of gathering data, information, praying, and fasting, we have heard clearly from the Lord that he wants us to stay in the neighborhood that we are in, to build and grow and to develop here, and that from this location, we would bring healing to this section of our great city, and from this section of our great city, we would be a beacon of light to our region to our nation and to the world as a church committed to Jesus Christ and to God be the glory. As you can see, we've had a phenomenal year and I am so proud of the many, many, many ministry and community accomplishments that we've had. This video is just a small capture of our activities for 2016 and we could have taken a lot more time, but you know you just can't tell it all, even though you know I want to. As your pastor and shepherd, along with my lovely wife, Minister Yeldy, nothing brings us more joy than to know that we are a church family serving and loving each other and reaching the world. It's amazing to have heard the family testimonies that you have shared with us personally and with our leadership team throughout this year. Those testimonies, yes, your testimonies, have brought us to tears Yes, literal tears of joy over how you have experienced moving your family forward. We have also experienced some times of sorrow and celebration in the passing of many of our loved ones this year, including our beloved Deaconess Janice Pruitt. We have a vision and we have a mission and that gives us purpose. We are a people composed of many families, and we know that a family who loves one another and supports one another makes us overcomers and victorious. We have God the Father, Jesus Christ the Son, and the Holy Spirit empowering us to reach our city and the world, and that makes us great ambassadors and peacemakers. You connect all of that together and you get us, Evangel, one incredible and powerful family church. The scripture says in 1 Peter 2, 9 and 10, but you are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people for his own possession, that you may proclaim the excellencies of him who has called you out of darkness and into his marvelous light. Once you were not a people, but now you are God's people. Once you had not received mercy, but now you have received mercy. We're not a family that's perfect, but we are a family moving forward. It is most befitting that in this year, 2016, that we have celebrated our Lord Jesus Christ's birthday on a Sunday. And now we celebrate a new year on a Sunday as well, the Lord's Day. 